Hey everyone, Steven here. Let me show you one of the most important tools you need for your Amazon business, which is a profit calculator. So this software is called Scout X. It's part of the Three Coats Seller 365 bundle. I'm going to show you exactly how to use this software for your Amazon business, all the features that come with it. And I'm going to show you why this is the most slept on software bundle in the Amazon space right now. So no matter what you're doing, selling on Amazon, whether you're doing retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale, or even Amazon to Amazon flips, this software will make your life a hundred percent easier when you're selling on Amazon. So let's jump right into it. Here we are on amazon.com and let's say we're looking for a product to sell. So I'm going to look up Bob's Red Mill. It's a very popular brand. And the first thing you'll notice that pops up is going to be this quick view of the listing. So this is part of the Scout X software. You're able to see the sales rank of the category of this listing. You're also able to see the subcategories, but we're not really going to use that information or anything. And another thing is that you're able to see the variations if this product has other variations within the listing. And you're able to see how many sellers are on the listing. So right here, this listing has nine other sellers and you're able to see who the buy box holder is, whether it's Amazon or if we scroll down a little bit, whether it's an FBA seller. So this is so helpful because you don't have to go into every single listing in the search page. You just simply look for the listings that have other FBA sellers or other MFN sellers or FBM sellers. So we're going to open up this one right here because there's another FBA seller and we'll open up one more listing right here. But let's say you're trying to look for this item from another retail website or somewhere else online where you could buy it to sell on Amazon. You could simply just click this Google icon right here and then it'll research that listing on Google search and try to find you another place that is selling this product. You could also go back and then click on the camel icon and it will take you to camel, 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 which will give you data on the sell price over time. But let's take a look at these listings that we just opened up. So right when you open it up, you'll see that the calculator appears right above the title. And this is how you're going to use it. So it might look like a lot of information in the beginning, but I'll break down each section for you. So this first box right here is going to be your sell price, which is the buy box price. It's $13.99. That's what it's selling for right now. And then all you have to do is enter in your buy cost. So let's say we could buy this for $5, let's say from Target or anywhere else. And then it'll automatically update the profit based on your buy cost to show you how much you're going to make on each sell. It'll tell you the ROI and the margin and how many other FBA sellers are also selling it and how many other FBM sellers are also selling it. So you'll see there's two different net profits. And that's simply because when it comes to FBM, there's no FBA fees associated with it. So this is why there's a higher profit right here. But keep in mind, you still have to add your shipping cost. Now, if you want to see a breakdown of all the FBA fees, you could click on the little I right here and then click on the drop down to see the Amazon referral fee, the FBA fulfillment fee. And if you want a breakdown of your buy cost, you could also click the drop down right here. So let's say you're buying from a supplier, either a retailer or a distributor or even the brand and you could get a 10% discount. So all you have to do is simply enter 10% and then it'll recalculate the profit for you based on that 10% discount. Let's say you could somehow get 50% off. So you, all you have to do is enter that and then it'll recalculate the profit for you as well. And then let's say you want to add other expenses such as prep costs and shipping. Let's say it takes you a dollar to prep and ship your products, then you just simply enter that and it will recalculate your profit for you. So you see it's very customizable and that's what we want in a profit calculator. And let's say you want to see who are the other competitors that you're going to be selling against on this listing. All you have to do is click on the seven offers and then it'll pull up the sellers, their rating, their delivery date, their stock amount, and their current price that they're selling at. And if it ever has this little box, that means that they have to buy box. You could do that with FBM as well. All you have to do is click the three offers right here. So it literally has all the data that you need to run your business. Now, if you look on the bottom box right here, you can see the buy box price, the other buy box available offers, meaning that there are three other offers that can compete for the buy box. You can also see the lowest price of both FBM and FBA as well. Now, if we go to the right here, there's a couple of different tabs that I want to show you. So the first thing you'll see is the ranking. It has the current rank out of the entire category ranking. And this is a top 1% item in the groceries category. Over here, you'll see the average rank in the past 30 days. You'll also see the average price of 30 days and how many sales rank drops 
there are in the past 30 days. So this is all very useful information for you to make a buying decision. If you see that there's 148 drops in the past 38 days, you can safely assume that it sells a minimum of 148 times in the past 30 days. If there is no other variations that also share the same sales rank data. And you can also find that information out using the solver. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But if you click on the drop down here, there's even more data points for you to look at in order to make a buying decision. For example, you can see Amazon's out of stock rate, which is 100%. You can see the average FBM price in the past 30 days and the average buy box price in the past 30 days. Now, if we go to this next tab right here that says graph, what's super cool about it is that it will show you a miniature Keepa graph. So this is one of the best features of the software is that this could replace your Keepa software. So you don't have to pay another $30, $40 a month for Keepa when you have all these data points built right here into the software. So you could also change it to the past month and you could also highlight and zoom in even further. You could also go back to a year. You could also go back to the all time when the listing was first created. But let's go back to three months. So you're able to see how the price moves over time and how the sales rank moves over time. We could see at the highest point, it was at 7,000. At the lowest point, it's been at 3,000. So this is a very fast selling product. You could also see that the price is very stable in the past three months. In fact, this is probably the lowest it's ever been. So you can safely assume that it will probably go back up to 1497 or 1417. Now, if we go to the next tab, the offer tab, you're able to see a bird's eye view of all the sellers on the listing, whether they're FBA or FBN. And then if you go to the reviews tab, they will also give you review information, but I'm not signed into my Amazon account right now. So I'm just going to skip that. But once you sign in, it'll tell you all the review data. So if you look down here in the last box, you can see the parent ASIN and the child ASIN. You could quickly copy and paste it wherever you need to. You could also see the dimensions of this listing, the weight of the listing, and the size tier of the listing. So how do you use this in your business? Well, the most important thing you could do is replace whichever other calculator you're probably thinking about using. Or if you're using Amazon's free revenue calculator, you could replace that as well because you don't have to copy and paste the ASIN into the free calculator every single time you want to do product research anymore. That takes so much time and it's just so inconvenient. And when I say replace every other calculator out there in the market right now, I really mean it. This software is part of the Seller 365 bundle, which is only $69 a month. Most of you are probably paying $30 to $40 on the calculator alone. And this can do so much more than the other calculators that you're using. So one of the other best features that Scout X has is that you're able to export all your data onto Google Sheets. So once you have it connected to your Google Sheets, if you click on this little Google Sheets icon right here, you could simply add the spreadsheets that you want to add, or let's Say you want to create a new spreadsheet let's say i'm sourcing this from target i could quickly add that and then it will create a new spreadsheet for me and then i'm able to quickly drag and drop any information i need to appear on my google sheets from this listing so you don't have to go back and forth anymore so let's say i want to include the fba net profit let's say i want to include the roi let's say i want to include the margin and let's say i want to include the size tier I could simply just save this and then it will appear in my new spreadsheet right here. And let's say I didn't want to use this spreadsheet anymore. I could just simply disconnect it right here. Now, if I were to go back and let's say I want to export all this data into my grocery supplier right here, I could simply leave a note saying uh, buy now, click submit. And then it's going to show up right here in my grocery supplier Google Sheet where I can then review this information and then create a purchase order. So now I'm slowly building my master sheet of products that I could look back on and order over and over again. And all of this data came right from the Scout X calculator. Now let's say we want to customize the calculator a little. All you have to do is go to this gear icon right here, click on settings. Now you can scroll down and edit any settings you want to change in order for it to best fit your workflow. So right now I have restrictions on to show me all the restrictions it has right here. And then I have Google Sheets integration on. And then for the product layout, I prefer the calculator appear above my title, but let's say you want it to be docked to the left, it could appear right there. Or if you want it docked to the right, it could also be right there. Or let's say you want it as a floating calculator, you could also do that as well right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back right there. 
And then let's say you don't want to look at the product offer or the tab, you can remove those. And then now your calculator is just going to have the essential information right here. So let's go back. I want to actually include both of them. And then down here, let's say you don't want to look at certain tabs over here in the tabs box, then you could also uncheck it. For example, reviews, if we don't want to look at that, we could uncheck it and then it will be gone right here. So there's so many ways to customize it. I actually have my target buy cost off because I always know the cost of my products. So I don't really need to check that on. I have net profit on, ROI on, and margin on. And then we scroll down a little bit more. These are universal settings. So let's say I know I could get a two and a half percent discount using my Chase credit card. I could always enter that in right here. And then now it will apply that discount to every single listing once I open it up using the calculator. And then let's say I want to include sales tax in my state. I could also include that and it will apply to all the listings that I open up. But I'm just going to leave that as zero and then I'm going to leave this discount as zero too. Now we scroll down to the FBM options right here. You can create a universal estimated FBM shipping cost. Let's say it cost you three bucks to ship everything. Then it will apply to all the listings right here. But I'm going to leave that as zero. And then if you have any additional costs you want to add into your calculations to all your listings, you could do that here as well. Same thing with the FBA option. If you want to include the FBA shipping cost, you could do it right here. If you want to add other expenses like prep costs, you can add it right here and estimated storage time. If you want to include that as well, you could also change the months of storage, which will recalculate the storage fee. And then let's say you just want to turn off FBM because you only want to do FBA. Then you just flick that right off. And then right here, you can only see the FBA calculator. So it's very customizable. And that's one of the reasons I love using this is because depending on the type of seller you are and the workflow you are building for your own business, this is so helpful. Now, if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see that you could create custom research shortcuts. So let's say I'm sourcing a lot of my products from Walmart. So what I'm going to do is go on walmart.com copy the URL, come back to my listing and enter in the URL. And then I'm just going to rename it WM short for Walmart. You can also use an icon right there. And then I'm going to turn on show and scale X and create shortcut. So now what happens is if we exit out the settings, you can see that this little Walmart shortcut appears right here beneath all the data. So I'm just going to click on Walmart and then now the Walmart website is going to pop out. So if you're ever reverse searching a product, that's a quick way. Instead of searching a Walmart every single time, you could just click this. It will pop up right here and you could do your search. You could also create a second shortcut right here. Let's say I'm sourcing from Target. You could enter the Target URL and create that shortcut as well. So if we have a listing like this that has multiple variations, like a one pack, two pack, three pack, or multiple colors or multiple sizes, and they share the same keepograph when you switch between them, this is how you could use Scout X to help you differentiate all these different variations and see which one sells the most. So we're going to click on this variations view right here. And now what's going to pop up is this overview of all the variations and and the review percentages between these variations. So we could see that the eight ounce pack of one makes up 73% of all the reviews on this listing. Now, if this product sells a hundred times a month, we could safely assume that the pack of one makes up 73% of all the sales. If we look at the pack of two, we can see that it makes up 20% of all the reviews on this listing. So this is also a great opportunity for you to source multiple products under this listing. Meaning if you find that the pack of one is already profitable and you can sell it, you might as well look at the pack of two and a pack of three to see how profitable it is to sell. This way, one product leads to three different product sourcing opportunities for your business. So if you're thinking about selling on Amazon or you're already an Amazon seller, I have to recommend the Seller 365 Bundle by Three Coats because it includes not only the Scout X calculator, but literally 10 other tools within the same suite for only $69 a month. I can honestly say this is the most valuable software bundle in the market right now. There is no other software that came out with a bundle like this. Every other software out there is raising their prices while three cuts is here actually trying to help you guys save some money. I'm actually going to be doing some tutorials on the rest of the tools that Sutter365 has because everyone should be using this right now. There's really no reason not to. So if you want to check out some of my other tutorials, make sure to subscribe, make sure to follow, make sure to join our Discord community and the Facebook group. I'll be on there a lot and I'm here to help. So see you guys in the next video.